Hi, I'm Pukachu, and this is another Dreams Early Access tutorial. This is going to be a thermometer overview. It's going to be covered in three parts. I have all of this information here. Uh, all of these samples are in my uh, Pukatoots video content. Look in the thermometer tutorial. There's this old tutorial information down here with corrections. I have a separate video that goes over all of that. The current new information is up here. This is what we're going to look at today in three parts. Uh, first, sculpture, and then we'll look at paintings and gadgets in separate videos. Now, when you go and you start a new creation, empty creations have a 1% gameplay thermometer reading automatically, and I believe that is because of the imp being present in the scene. There is zero graphics, and so uh, when we see a 2% gameplay reading, that means a 1% increase from where it is when you start with an empty creation. So that's the 1% is just a fraction of a percent. And when you reach it, it rolls over to 2%. That means that you've got one full percent has been added. So that's our basis for all of these. We're going to start with sculptures over here, uh, comparing unique and cloned sculptures. So these, they look all the same here, but in fact, each of these is a unique sculpture because for each of these, I went into sculpt mode and chose the square and stamped it down uh, with the stamp shape tool, as opposed to this other creation. I went in, I just made the, a circle shape once, and then I cloned out that shape 82 times. So in both cases, 82 is the number that it takes for that gameplay thermometer to roll over from 1% to 2%. The graphics thermometer, you'll notice, is different. It stays at 1% with the cloned sculptures, but the unique sculptures, it's gone up to 2%. And I will show another thing about the gameplay thermometer here. I'll go into edit mode and make sure that the thermometer stays visible here. So. If I delete one of these, the gameplay thermometer has dropped down to 1%. If I select them all, you can see that I have 81 in the group. Grouping them, the gameplay thermometer is now back up to 2%, and that's because the action of creating a group counts as one little thing on the gameplay thermometer. So that's an important thing to bear in mind. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't use groups. They can be very important in the construction process, but it does mean that you shouldn't group things way too excessively. It can actually make it harder to edit later. And it's just something to be aware of that it does count as one little tiny thing in the gameplay thermometer. Um, moving on from these, the comparison between uh, just unique and cloned shapes, I'm going to look at the difference between cloning shapes while you're in sculpt mode versus cloning sculptures in assembly mode. So this here is 100 simple sculptures. They're all the same shape. This is just the shape stamped down once and then cloned out 100 times. And if we select all, we can see that there's 100 there. This is one complex sculpture that's made of 100 shapes. So it's all one. That's not a group. If we scope in, you can see these are all individual stamps. So with the outcome of having 100 copies of that one shape, if you do it all in one sculpture, You'll notice the graphics thermometer is up to 14%. If you do them all as individual sculptures, the graphics thermometer stays at 1%, but the gameplay has gone up to 2%. If 100 is all that you need, then, and if you're more concerned about graphics in the level, then this might be a better way to go. But what happens if you need 1,000 of them? Uh, if you've gone with individual sculptures, graphics is still down at 1%, but the gameplay has gone up to 10%. And just to show where that maxes out, you can have 10,423 
cloned sculptures, and this is the gameplay thermometer full. You cannot make another copy in here. So if you try and clone more, it won't let you place them. If you try and place a new anything new in here, it, it won't allow you. That's the gameplay thermometer completely full. 10,423 clones. If we're looking at the complex sculpture made up of 100 shapes, to get a total of 1,000 shapes, clone that one sculpture 10 times, the graphics thermometer has stayed at 14%, and the gameplay thermometer is still at 1%, because it's only been, there's only 10 things here to make up that total of 1,000 shapes. Let's go in here and look. Each of these, these are all clones of each other. Again, not a group. If we scope in, we're in sculpt mode. And moving on down, to get approximately the same number of shapes, I just went up to 10,000. I didn't count out the extra 423. But at this point, the gameplay thermometer is only at 2%. The graphics thermometer is, of course, still at 14%. That's always going to remain consistent when you're cloning. So if you needed to have 10,000 of these little cones, this would be the way to go, because this way doesn't leave you any more space. This is just to illustrate how you need to find a balance between graphics and gameplay when it comes to uh, creating sculptures. And that's about it for the sculpture overview. And next we will look at paintings.